Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Alex Zero. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm getting the urge to go out with these rollers in my hair. I don't know. Should I? Should I not? I want to test like how much I don't give a fudge, you know? Anyway, I'm finally in my own little apartment here. And I'm going to show you. I'm trying to find some good lighting. This is probably my favorite spot. I did a full length mirror with my two uh, circle mirrors that I thrifted. I hauled this one. This one down here. I did not haul, but they make the number 8 or the infinity, infinity symbol, which I love. Um, but yeah, I'm finally in my own little place. It's still kind of a mess, but I will show you a bit. I did order another bookshelf from Ikea. I will put on the screen what it is because it's super affordable. It's like $25. I've had one since like... So long <laughs> maybe like two decades you guys the one on the corner yeah that's the oldest one this one I put it together myself I'm so proud Give myself a pat in the back <sighs> that is from the microwave that arrived yesterday that was gifted to me by my partner my man thank you to my man for the microwave he also bought me a refrigerator because this unit did not come with a refrigerator and here are my nails that I did myself I'm ready for October. Not because it's my birthday, just because I hate summer. I hate summer so much, <laughs> like so much. But yeah, this is probably my favorite area right now because it's not messy. <laughs> From Ikea, I also got this desk, which is kind of long. I'll put on the screen which one it is as well, in case you want to hi. Hey, hi, look Wait, at this shirt, it's so cute. <laughs> In case you want to get it, I will show you which one it is. That one I did not put together. My partner put that one up for me. <laughs> he had a difficult time, so yeah. If you order from Ikea, it is affordable for like small furniture because this apartment is kind of small. So I had to order compact furniture, but Ikea does have like bigger furniture. This is not an ad for Ikea. I'm just recommending it because I use it and I like it. And like I said... That bookshelf has been with me for like two decades, so it's really good. It's really sturdy. If I can get past the microwave box that came from Amazon, if you like retro microwaves, I will show it to you in a minute. Also, my refrigerator is also retro. I really like vintage, so I just went with that. Up here, I have my cats that I'm not going to leave there. Nothing is set in stone yet. I'm just whatever. Trying to do a little tour of the apartment, but it's nothing is nothing is set in stone yet. I still have to organize the books and everything, but I'm just gonna show you how many books this bookshelf is holding and has held. Um, these are all my Stephen King books. They they bleed onto this other bookshelf, and I actually recently found one of his wife's books, which I'm super excited to read. Uh, Tabitha King. I found that at an estate sale like last week and yeah it can hold a lot of books I think Ikea gives you like a suggestion but I don't even I don't even pay attention to that because <laughs> I do what I want pretty much let me show you the super cute little kitchen and stuff now we're in the kitchen look at this beautiful lighting Okay, I'm gonna flip the cat. No, I'll just, I'll just keep showing like this. Here is this little thing that I still need to hang it up. I'm gonna put a string through the little holes that it has. If you can tell, it has little holes. You can hang it up. And it will stay here at my window. And here is the little cute nostalgia microwave that I got yesterday works really well it's on amazon if you want it um and my refrigerator which i love so much it is small and compact which i knew it would be i took measurements of the area and compared them so i knew it's gonna be short but that's okay because i put another one of my favorite thrifted twines up here and this is a ceramic cookie jar that is molded and yeah 
It's just, sorry. It's gorgeous. I have like fruit and flowers and of course the butterfly. And I haven't put any pictures yet, but I have my black cat magnet for good luck right here. I think that's pretty much it so far. I haven't put anything up here with a stove is or anything, so it's still a work in progress. I'm also probably gonna move the treadmill out of the living room and into the kitchen because I'm not planning on getting a dining table. I'm probably gonna move that treadmill all the way back there to where the cat print is. All of that stuff back there is inventory that I need to list. Also, if you want to support this channel or if you like online shopping, be sure to... Wow, I look red. That's a vintage lamp right there. Be sure to check out the description box to see my eBay and Poshmark closet. Really feeling these nails. They're not perfect, but because I did them, because I did them myself, I think they're so cool. <laughs> I love these rollers like I said I'm very tempted on going out with these rollers in my hair I'm gonna take a trip to my storage unit where I have inventory to take some things that I have listed and put in this bin right here there's a bin under all that <laughs> there's a bin here somewhere and that's all been listed or drafted so it's pretty much ready to go but yeah here's my favorite spot i love these two mirrors together the number eight and of course i have all my angels down here my angel stuff i feel like i should lower that clock a little bit it doesn't have battery so it's not working but i don't care um so yeah that's gonna be moved to where the bookshelf is that will be put away in storage eventually once i'm done decorating but yeah this is just the mess that i need to put in storage all of that i usually keep the boxes so i can use them for shipping so i'm gonna be doing that and these are all my little thrifted wall decors that i've collected because i do like gold obviously and then over here I have my really disorganized bookshelves and this used to be my bed this is a sofa couch twin size I just had a top on it to make it more comfortable and of course the chair the piece of resistance for my vintage decor <laughs> that I hate it <laughs> I've used it once since I've been here but like I said I'm gonna move it out of my out of my way into the kitchen and here's the ikea desk more stuff i don't know where to put it i don't know where to put it all the movies and games that i have from the goodwill i love that because it has like angels mixed with dark images and i just really like that oh yes this water cooler was also a gift from my partner that i bought myself well, oh yeah, the IKEA stuff I also bought myself, and I bought beds for us. But I'm not gonna show you the bedroom because it is messy. Also, this I got myself at the Salvation Army for only like fifteen dollars, I think, and it's real oak wood. So, yeah, that's it. It is 95 degrees at 1.05 p.m. And it is Saturday today. I did it. I came out with rollers in my hair. And there are people here. <laughs> I'm at the storage unit. It's only like two minutes away from where I live, which is amazing. I'm just going to drop off all of this stuff, so I'll be gone really quickly. Um... Mm, it's so nice, what? isn't it nice? Yeah, but Everything is so close by here. I love it so much. Yeah, but there's a car next to you. There is a car. Mm. I'm sure I'm going to get stares from people because I have rollers in my hair. 
but I really like this. I think it's testing how much I don't care. <laughs> but I really need to leave them in longer because it just won't do if I leave them for just like an hour. And this is just to add volume to my hair because it's really flat, especially with this heat. But yeah, I really don't care anymore. I think that happens in your 30s. You just stop caring what other people think, which is wonderful. Isn't it? <laughs> is that all you put the 90s? Do you think it's embarrassing that I'm wearing this? Or how do you feel? I don't want to care. You don't care? No. Good. I've been trying to teach her like important things that I was never taught as a child so that she won't have such a hard childhood like I did. So anyway, let me just shut up and get all this stuff in my storage unit. <sighs> And then we're gonna go get water and then we're gonna go back home and that's it. Period. Let's see how long it takes. It is now 107. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it, ma'am? I have no idea. 120. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Say it. Mm -hmm. You do know. 126? Yes. It's 126. I refilled the water containers and dropped off the stuff at storage. I probably won't take these out till like 3 or 4. I don't know. Also, I'm going to dye my hair, but I don't know what color. I have red hair dye, but now I kind of want to do black. Which color should I do, red or black? Um, red, because that's your favorite color. I like black too, though. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't eaten anything. I think I had coffee and coconut water, but drink. I really want Chinese food. Me too. Me too. We'll see. I think my partner's on his way here, or he'll get here like later, like at three or four, and then we'll go get Chinese food maybe. Ooh. Fly. Shout out to your partner. I didn't get any comments about my rollers, but I think people were staring. Do you think people were staring? No, nobody was literally staring. There was a girl on her phone. She wasn't even staring. She was so in her phone. Yeah, people are like very programmed to be like this. <laughs> so let's go inside. It's hot. It's hot outside. Her 97 car, degrees. Her car sounds like pee though. Whose car? That girl that was staring at her phone um, and wasn't even paying attention. Mm -hmm. Her car sounds like pee. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let's go inside. In the realm of personal productivity and achievement, living in the present moment, all right <laughs> i'm about to go i'm gonna close this video out i put on a little bit of makeup because oof, i'm about to do a couple of book reviews which is just like a little chat about uh, books that i've read recently and not so recently but i'm going to show you real quick how i moved the living room already because i don't want to wait for no man <laughs> so yeah i just did it myself <gasps> i did it myself not wonderful <laughs> so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna leave you with a little look at my bookshelf and stuff like that i hope you appreciate it give me a thumbs up check out my ebay and poshmark if you want to online shop i have men's clothing it's not that much but i also have women's clothing a lot and home decor and stuff like that i'm actually listing a few of my own things that i that i had in my storage because i have too much stuff and that's why i have such a big inventory list death pile back there in my kitchen because a lot of it is stuff that i originally bought for myself but i've decided to not be a hoarder <laughs> and so yeah thank you so much let's check out the living room and then the bookshelf real quick
Okay, so here's how I want it to be. I'm going to be sitting there to do the book reviews slash chit chat. That's my tripod and stuff and that's some garbage I have to take out. But yeah, I can pick that up. It's not that heavy. This one I have to slide it very carefully. And the treadmill has wheels so it's not that hard to move. And I just put a box under all that stuff so it wouldn't mess it up. It's fine. I put stuff on it before. But yeah, this is how it looks. Really quickly. I have this cool art book by Paul Mornhouse. Sorry, am I mispronouncing it? Dolly. Then I also found this vintage dictionary. It's super cool. Random Shakespeare. <laughs> of course, all my Stephen King's right here and up to right here. And then a lot of random. I have a lot of rat. Really random. I have not read any of those. An art book about cats cats and diary history super super interesting stuff a lot of goosebumps i ordered from ebay because they're nostalgic to me this i really recommend if you have any young teenager start to freak um it's a 12 book series but i only have three of them for some reason um these i think i got i forgot where some beach town and look how beautiful this umbrella holder is as a hunter and his dog. Absolutely love this. Gorgeous. And then we have this umbrella with the horse head that I will list eventually. Let's go down here to my Mass Effect books. I was up late last night playing Mass Effect. Um, I have the official game guide and this cool little book because I'm a big fan. It's my favorite game trilogy, so, for years. Here we have everybody's favorite vampire books. <laughs> These I bought new. Somebody bought them for me because I was in high school when I first read them. And I still have them. And yeah, one day I will try to reread those. Bunch of random thrifted pickups. More thrifted pickups. I am reading a Game of Thrones right now. It's in that little drawer. You saw it when I opened it earlier. Love Vampire Queen and Rice. Even though her writing is a little too fancy for me. Love The Walking Dead graphic novels. And of course, that's it. Everything is thrifted except these novels and my Stephanie Mayer books, The Vampire Twilight Saga. Um, those were purchased new. And these were new too. Purchased new, I mean all of these. <sighs> these I ordered on um, eBay, but I didn't really like them. <sighs> what else? <sighs> I guess that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you are a Stephen King fan like I am. This is the first book that I ever read by him. I will review it after I read it again for a second time. Highly recommend it. It's amazing. Top five favorites. Up here are some of my other favorites. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. And of course, Lord of Flies by William Godling. And a biography called Fish. It will make you cry. Well, at least it made me cry, but I'm a crybaby. Oh no, a memoir, sorry. I don't really read that many memoirs, but this one was great by TJ Parcell about his prison stay. This actually inspired me to put my character in prison. <laughs> but yeah. Let's go. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to watch the book reviews, okay? Love you. Bye.